It's today's paper. I can't make a call. I'm out of nickels. Hmm, it's unlocked. What do you want, pal? This ain't no ticket office. I'm here to enjoy Madam's outrageous orations. This ain't that kind of show. Oh, of course not. Madam Sophia is a serious thinker. Don't kid around, pal. You're talking about my idol. No kidding. I think she's the greatest. Me too. There's something about her. Yeah, she's very pretty. That goes without saying. Good night. Wait a minute. What now, buddy? I really need to talk to your star. Another admirer, huh? Yeah, she's got a great cerebrum. Watch your mouth, bub. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Now shut up. Wait a minute. Why won't you take no for an answer? I really need to talk to your star. Another admirer, huh? Yeah, she sure knows how to obfuscate. No one talks about Madame Sophia like that. I think she's the greatest. Me too. There's something about her. Yeah, she's very smart. Smart? I'll say. You know what I really like? It's the way she... She... The way she makes things easy to understand? That's it. All that smart stuff seems so easy when I'm listening to her. Say, you're okay for a college boy. Come on in. Must be the new doorman. About time they got rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. I want a reading with Miss Hapgood. Are you crazy? During the show? Write a letter. Excuse me. Take it easy and watch the show. Here, my friends, is Atlantis as it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious, prosperous, socially and technically advanced. Beyond our wildest dreams. 5,000 years ago, while everyone else still wore animal skins, the mighty spirits of Atlantis dared to build a city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later, the famous philosopher Plato wrote about it. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean and described how it was divided into three circular parts, such as you see here. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. Excuse me. Shh. She's just coming to the exciting part. What befell the serene city? We may never know for sure. 
Was it the sea level slowly creeping higher, or the earth itself suddenly shifting? However it happened, panic must have gripped the citizens. On that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. Or perhaps it was a volcanic eruption, and something remains even now. On some questions, the great spirit who guides my thoughts, the all-seeing Nurab Sal, is silent. I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? I've got a newspaper here. So you do. Aren't you wondering about events of the day? I don't know. Maybe. How'd you like today's newspaper? Well, well, the late edition. I wonder if the Dodgers won. Watch the lights while I find out, okay? goes. And I still feel the presence of Atlantis through... Uh... May I present Nurab Sal, the great Atlantean god of... of... Deceit. Deceit. Indiana Jones? You've got some nerve. Go back, you big jack-o'-lantern. Oh, great. Good night, folks. Come on, mister. I've got a few words to mince with you. I'd say it's about time. Oh, no! Looks like Kerner got here first. Stay put. <laughs> No one here. Nor here either. Dr. Overman, fantastic new We found the treasure we see. It's the second time Kerner slipped away. What does a Nazi spy want with old statues? Have you seen the newspaper? Listen to this. Germans claim victory in worldwide race to smash the uranium atom. Chief scientist Dr. Hans Uberman announces plan to harness new sources of energy for the Third Reich. So? They'll never find enough uranium. Of course not. That's why they're looking for the power of Atlantis. Be serious. I used to think you'd make a good scientist. Yet you stole things from my expedition. Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. Huh. You're lucky I don't have you arrested. So what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. What do you know? Kerner missed the grand prize. What? My necklace. Watch closely. The bead is made of auric calcum, the mystery metal first mentioned by Plato. Now I'll place it in the medallion's mouth. Did you see that? Yeah, creepy. Is your electric bill paid up? That was Nurab Sal. His spirit is close. Closer than Atlantis, that's for sure. Suppose I gave this aura calcum business any credence. 
which I don't. Who knows where these beats really came from? Shh! I'm getting something. Narab Sal speaks. He bids us find the... What? A, a book, yes. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Another fine myth. If Plato wrote it, later authors would have reported it. What if the Nazis have already found a copy? You ever think of that? Hmm. You found this stuff in Iceland, right? Yes, near our old dig site. I thought so. Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall, I believe. Maybe we should pay him a visit. What do you say? I thought you'd never ask. feeling very friendly today, are we? I like solitude. It helps me think. I thought you were digging up Norse graves in Denmark. I was. Obviously, now I'm not. Doctor, what do you expect to find here? The secret of Hyperborea. That's what the Greeks call Iceland, you know. You've read how they sailed north to a fog-shrouded land and how they never set foot upon it. After traveling thousands of miles, mere fog wouldn't turn them back. Some idiots claim they were repelled by ghosts. Puppycock, you know what actually stopped them, John? I don't know, but maybe Sophia has an idea. Forget it. I'll just tell you. They were stopped by a forest field, put here by beings not of this earth. Mm, that's fascinating, Doctor. Have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Yes, there are rumors about such a book, but I've yet to see it. There are two people you might want to visit. Charles Sternhardt in Tikal, a shady fellow, who claims he translated the whole thing. And Philippe Costa in the Aethos Island. As a researcher, he's a farce, but he's a star trader. So long. Goodbye. Don't come back. Let's head for the airport. Critter's too far away. Critter's too far away. can't reach it. Mm -hmm. 
Can't move it. Wow, some bridge. Hi, Indy. Hello. How did you get over here? While you were off bushwhacking, I found a path. Let's look around. Okay. Just a minute. That's my shop. Can I help you with something? Postcard? Replicas of the temple? Souvenir mugs? Uh, no thanks, mister. Charles Sternhard, PhD, independent thinker, researcher, and merchant. But what can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? I'm the one who translated it, I can tell you that. I'd worry you were here to steal my last copy, but someone called Mr. Smith beat you to it. Oh, no! What can you tell us about Mr. Smith? He showed up last week, a tall man with a German accent and a pistol. He could have taken all my souvenirs, but he only wanted the lost dialogue. What can you tell us about the temple? Glad you asked. The locals claim my an Indian building. Now I ask you, does this look like the work of primitive savages, or does it seem much too civilized? Can we take a look inside? How do I know that you aren't a pair of silly tourists? I only show the temple to reputable scholars. I'm Dr. Indiana Jones. Is that scholarly enough? Indiana? Sounds like the name of one of your states. Or, or possibly a cat. Actually, it was the name of the dog. Sophia! I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. The Socrates. Socrates! <laughs> Too bad, old bloke. That's not the answer. Sorry, old chum. That lamp's a part of my shop. I can't let you have that. Socrates? Socrates! A famous philosopher! Let's find the airport. doing here? Let's look around. You go. I'll wait. Phew. Guess I should have cleaned it out. I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks like used motor oil. I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks like used motor oil. Thank you. 
Sophia. Yes? Let's look around. You go. I'll wait. Let's head for the airport. His house? This is it. Mr. Costa? Quiet down. I'm coming. Be careful, Indy. Humor him. Trust me. I suppose you're selling something. If it's not a priceless artifact, I don't want it. I hear you know something about Plato's lost dialogue. Maybe so, maybe no. Who are you? I'm Indiana Jones. I'm Costa, and I'm tired of talking to you. Indiana? What kind of stupid name is that? Nice going, Indy. I could have done better. Yeah, sure. Sophia? Yes? Here, you talk to the man. My pleasure. Mr. Costa! Pipe down! I'm coming! He's a touchy old bird. Watch and learn, Dr. Jones. Well, hello, beautiful. Professor Costa, my name is Sophia Hapgood. Madam Sophia? A renowned psychic? I hope my friend didn't pester you too much. He's a friend of yours? Well, no. He didn't pester me that much. He just has to learn to be more tactful. You said it. He's ruder than I am. How can I help you? What can you tell us about Plato's lost dialogue? What do you want to know? Do you have it? Nope. Have you read it? Nope. Do you know what's in it? Not exactly. Can you get it for me? Sorry. Do you know where we could find it? Well now, that depends. I might trade the information for a rare Atlantean artifact, such as a certain necklace I've heard about. I'll never trade away my necklace. Well then, if that's how you feel, surprise me. Would you do business with my friend here? Madam, I'll do business with anyone. Thanks for your help. Goodbye for now. At your command, madam. Don't be a stranger now. Interesting character. Trade, huh? If not your necklace, then what, I wonder? I'll never get away from my necklace. It doesn't seem to open. Let's get out of here. I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. I don't know the title. Plato! Obviously, you're not serious about this. Title? Hermocrates! A friend of Socrates! Stop! I'm begging your pardon, you can't go in there. The temple isn't safe. Excuse me. Yes? About exploring the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. The Hermocrates. That's it. That's it! Well now, perhaps I was wrong. You seem to know what you're doing. Walk this way, please. I don't trust this guy, Indy. 
I know what you mean. Come on. Here we are. To see what you can do. I can't. Years of tarnish have it all gummed up. Wait for me, old bean. Sorry, old chum. That lamp's a part of my shop. I can't let you have that. Hold up there, friend. Well, any ideas yet? Sophia, let's talk. What's up? Could you talk to Sternhardt and keep him occupied? Okay. Dr. Sternhardt, I'd like to speak to you. Good thing that pest Sternhardt's not around. Excuse me, won't you? So, you took my lamp, eh? I hope you know what you're doing. Let's see what- Look, the kerosene ate away the tarnish. Remarkable! Now I got it. Marvelous! It fits perfectly. Now it looks kind of like an elephant. Amazing! Look at that! Astonishing! Bless my soul, the tomb of an Atlantean king! Here's a small stone disc with images of land and sea engraved on it. I do believe it's a world stone. At last I have the thing. Goodbye, fellow seekers. Wait! Oh no, he got away! Won't budge. Too bad for Sternar. He missed it. Who knows? Maybe it is the tomb of an Atlantean king. I don't think that'll work. Let's find the airport. Too bad, he's frozen solid. A little too dedicated to his work, I guess. It fits perfectly. Whoa! Look, it melted itself right out of the ice. Let's head for the airport. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? Let's talk about a trade. Okay. What you got? I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. Now that looks interesting. You've got a deal, mister. Now listen carefully. I don't know exactly where to find it, but... The Lost Dialogue of Plato is in the Ward Collection. Got that? I think so. The Ward Collection. 
Very good. Nice doing business with you. The Ward Collection. You know something, Sophia? I believe Barnett College owns the Ward Collection. Dr. Uberman. Fantastic news. Colonel, at last! See what Herr Charles has kindly provided. What on earth? Isn't it amazing? You fool! You come back to show me this, this, this prehistoric knickknack? Herr Doctor, I believe this knickknack, as you call it, comes from the lost city. Then we have failed! I see no evidence here of some magical metal plato called Orichalcum! Look here, concealed in the base is a small shiny bead. And it glitters like fire! Exactly as Plato described! It's my guess we've found the treasure we seek. I never guess! We must test! My God! We've done it! The energy of uranium without any radioactivity! And those smug American scientists know nothing! That gives me an idea! Suppose I place the bead inside this statue's open mouth. You saw that? Think of trucks powered by these bees. Think of tanks. Think of airplanes. Use your imagination, Colonel. Think big like the American. Think of bombs. Why are you dragging me in here? Plato's lost dialogue should be here somewhere. Need some help? Yes, please, it's scary in here. Save the sarcasm, Jones. I'll meet you in your office. Can't push it any further. The floor isn't slippery enough. It won't move. I can't pull it any further. Looks like someone's ashes in here. Feels like there's something loose in here. A key? The chest is empty. It's unscrewed. It's unscrewed. It's unscrewed. It's unscrewed. 
It's unscrewed. Here it is, the lost dialogue of Plato. It's an old lecture hall desk, complete with a wad of gum, I'll bet. I can't pick that up. I can't pick that up. It sure is gooey. Thank you.